And we're back for the finals again of the Billabong Pro Cascais presented by Allianz. Jeremy Flores has made it into the finals this morning, starting off uh, at that number ninth in the rankings as he made the quarterfinals and a chance to really solidify his spot all the way in to the top 10 and qualify for next season, being that he is so low on the championship tour. Kind of a must-win situation for him. His quarterfinal against Jack Freestone, very important. Oh, definitely. I mean, we think about Jeremy Flores coming in from this event. He was rate, rated number 18th on the QS standings. You mentioned today, as it stands, he was not. So he's got so much ground to, to gain here and just doing so well and just sticking to that game that we saw yesterday. He was up against Jack Freestone, another rookie on the championship tour. And, you know, Jack was in form too. You can't take anything away from Jack Freestone, but Jeremy Flores... He just looked like he wanted it more. Well, this is like fighting for your world to our life here. You know, on the QS for Freestone as well. He had a few uh, injuries in the beginning of the season. Was able to get a second on uh, the OA Rio Pro. So he's got some highlights on that championship tour, but he's not ranked very high. So he's had to kind of back his results up here. Moves up the rankings to 14th and had his chance to maybe even really move into the top 10 picture. So it was a big heat for him here. Yeah, definitely. This is where the gloves come off. When we when you're surfing for your career, everything is on the line. We talk about the QS being a grind. You don't want to be back on that grind. You want to still be on that championship tour. You've done all that hard work. So Jack Freestone, Jeremy Flores, both having to back themselves up on the QS rankings. Of course, having to watch that wave unfold at the very end of it. We'd seen the theme, the last minute heroics not happening for Jack Freestone in that last one. It came out as a 7.5. He needed an 8 plus on that last one. And now you look at the road to the finals. You've got Jesse Mendez and Jeremy Flores. A little bit of contrasting styles here. You know, you've got a youngster who has been making it happen with big airs. He's had a 10-point ride with a huge rotation. You got Jeremy Flores posting nines and eights with solid rail work and a board that is flowing everywhere. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Jeremy Flores just has to stick to his game. He came up against Ian Gavea, the giant killer. You talk about the run that Ian Gavea's had over September through those qualifying events. You'd have to peg him as a favorite for this event just because of those maneuvers that he's pulling off with ease. And that is so true, plus the fact that uh, Ian had been putting together, again, la that theme of the day, last minute, being able to turn the heat on last waves. But Gavea did have an opportunity at the end, but it was Flores sticking to his game plan, not getting rattled by any means, putting nines up on the board just by having so much speed, that power, that flow, that execution of all of those major maneuvers. That was the nine-point ride right there. And then at the end, it looked like we we're going to have something amazing happen. He was comboed at this time. This one was a nine plus. I think it was a nine. I can't even remember the score. Nine, six, seven, I think. Um, at the end of the heat, he did have the opportunity. Just needed a six, five to turn the heat. But Govea, it didn't happen for him. Well, I mean, Ian Govea, in that combination situation, able to pull out maneuvers like that, Jeremy Flores knew that he was going to have to shut the door on him because we mentioned the heroics that he can pull out, and it just keeps it so exciting. You know, he'll be such a great addition to the to Ian Gavea if he can hold on to his ranking that he has at the moment. And if you recall, at the end of the heat here, he was actually concerned about that last score. Like, did I better a score there? Even though he'd known he'd made the heat, he wanted to know that he had better to score there. And I think, again, just trying to gain that experience uh, um, and knowing that, you know what, I'm going to execute here, I'm going to take this wave, I'm going to get an 8-plus on it, and he did that. He made it that much tougher for Govea. Govea never got the chance, but um, an amazing performance from Govea. He was made the highlight reel for sure. Oh, guaranteed. He's entertained us all event long.